Hey everybody, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. Capricorn. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever done a face-to-face -face for Capricorn. I actually don't read for Capricorns very often because um, I have a lot of Capricorns around me and uh, the energy just doesn't come through clean, right? Same with Aquarius. Don't read for Aquarius a lot because I have a lot of Aquarius around me and the energy just doesn't come through clean. But I think I got a good clean reading for you today, right? None of my personal BS attached to it, right? All right, Cappy. This is for you by special request. Um, I've had um, an, an, an amazing amount of people requesting that I read for Capricorn. So here you go. This is your general reading for the sign of Capricorn. If you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. Okay. Now I want to point out, this is not your reading. Okay general readings and there's a link in the box below that explains what general readings are on youtube okay don't get duped don't get sucked in okay this is not your reading this is a general overall forecast like your weatherman a general overall forecast and it could be 60 percent chance of rain 60 percent chance of being warm and sunny but on your side of town it's not right so take it like that okay so anyway general reading for the sign of Capricorn. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. All right, Cappy, let's do this. So Capricorn, you start this reading with the devil card, right? There is some kind of an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, right? And I wanted to know, I wanted to know, well, first of all, I clarified it with the Nine of Pentacles, right? This is bringing something to a culmination, to a conclusion. But Death card comes on top of it and says that you're resistant to change. Well, I really wanted to know what the root of this Devil card is, and it was the Prince of Cups in reverse. So this tells me there is some kind of a relationship in your life that you feel like it's unrealistic to continue to give your emotions to okay an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth that you want to bring to a culmination however you're resistant to change even though it is a relationship in your life where you feel that it's not worth giving any more of your emotions to okay because sometimes it's awesome with the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Sometimes this relationship is just like on point. It's amazing and and you 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 have feelings for this person, right? That's why you're resistant to change because sometimes it's awesome, but you really see it as, as a restriction to your personal growth, right? Struggling with your subconscious mind with the Moon card, struggling with your subconscious mind clarified by the king of wands so i think that this is the person that you're dealing with right this is you know it's a fire sign sag leo aries but it could be anybody i'm a taurus sun pisces moon pisces venus pisces rising and i show up as the queen of wands all the time in readings okay so this could be anybody that you're dealing with but this person is very attractive they have um you just really feel it for this person right you really do you feel it for this person to the nine of swords in reverse but you, you you're realizing that this whole situation is pretty much hopeless okay to the ace of pentacles in reverse pretty much just a lost opportunity and that's what you're struggling with in your subconscious mind with the moon card right you're struggling with your subconscious mind because sometimes with the nine of cups it's awesome right but eh, eh, somehow this attachment that you have is a restriction to your personal growth and you know it Queen of Wands comes in and talks about feeling insecure, right? Feeling really, really insecure about the, the Queen of Cups, your feelings towards this person. Insecure in the feels. And the Devil in Reverse talks about um, releasing limiting beliefs, right? So what, what these cards are saying is that you feel super insecure, super insecure 
in your feelings about releasing this limiting belief. What is the limiting belief? An attachment that is a, a restriction to your personal growth. What are the re, what are the limiting beliefs that you need to release? That this person is your person. That's the limiting beliefs that you have to, to release. But it's hard, resistant to change because the teamwork and collaboration, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's really good, right? There's a lot of good things about this relationship. There's a lot of good things about this person. But for some reason, you just feel like this is not where you're supposed to be. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. And this is somehow, some way, restricting your growth. Ten of Swords comes in, says that it needs to end, right? It needs to end. To the Four of Cups, contemplating, right? Reevaluating, contemplating. To judgment in reverse. Through this contemplation process with the Four of Cups, you've come to the conclusion that this is not your calling. Judgment in reverse is about not answering the call, right? It's about, it's about literally, if you, if you want to, not literally, but if you want to put it into an analogy, right? They're calling and calling and calling and you're looking at the phone and you're like, no, nope. decline, voicemail, decline voicemail decline you're ignoring the call you don't want this relationship anymore and the justice card comes on top of it and says justice right this is justice to the situation this is justice to the way that you feel and now you understand that this just isn't where you want to be right now cappy seven of swords in reverse talks about uh breaking free right? Breaking free. Hold on. Yep. Breaking free. To the nine of pentacles in reverse, because you see this as an overinvestment in your life, right? Investing too much time, too much effort, too much money, too many feels in the situation. Ten of swords in reverse says that you see this relationship as eventually, either now or later, at some point, coming to an inevitable end, to the Two of Cups in reverse, a breakup. There's a misalignment of values in this relationship that is impeding your success with the Six of Wands. It's impeding your progress, victory, success in life and what it is that you want to do to the Knight of Cups. It's impeding your ability to give emotionally to other situations in your life. Three of Cups comes in though and says, mm, it's part of the mental challenges that you're trying to break free from, right? Three of Cups comes in and says, sometimes it's good though. Sometimes it's good, right? Sometimes it's good and you're going to need strength. Strength in your feels because there's a lot of conflict. You have a lot of internal conflict, as these cards have said, right? A lot of internal conflict about breaking off this relationship with this person. You feel restricted in your personal growth, but yet at the same time, this relationship is also good in a lot of ways, right? It's a hard thing to do, to do what's right for you when maybe you're not giving it a chance, right? I don't know. Prince of Pentacles says, as you look into your future, right? As you look down the road into your future, you're going to take some action because you've been kind of stagnant, kind of stuck about doing anything in this situation, slow, right? Just kind of, just kind of playing it out, see how it goes, right? But, but now you're going to take some action, right? Because in this middle row, we've decided that this needs to come to an end with the Ten of Swords, right? You've contemplated, you've reevaluated everything with the Four of Cups. With the Judgment card, it's like not answering the call. No, no, I'm just not feeling it. 
just not feeling it to the justice card, right? Your feelings are justified. You have processed in your mental that you are justified in wanting to end this relationship, this relationship that sometimes is really good, right? But it's also toxic with the devil card upright. And it's also the, the universe is urging you to, to release limiting beliefs with the devil in reverse as well, right? Right on. So, so, so you're, you're breaking free from the mental challenges that are keeping you in this relationship, right? You feel like it's an over investment and, and it will eventually at some point come to an inevitable end right? The two of cups in reverse says there's just a misalignment of values somehow, some way here for you guys. And it is impeding your ability to have victory, success, and progress. It's impeding your ability to, to share your emotions in other areas of your life. But man, with the three of cups, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's good. In your feelings, you have a lot of conflict and you need strength, right? So as you look down the road of the future, as you assess the landscape to the Knight of Swords, you're going to take some action. You're going to take some action in the situation. Five of Wands, again, says conflict, right? Lots of conflict, internal, external, just conflict, right? And the Hermit says that you are simply um, going to withdraw. You're going to withdraw the hermit in reverse. You're going to withdraw because of the star card, because there's more for you. And you know this, right? There's more for you. There is hope, faith, purpose, renewal. You want something new in your life. Two of Swords in Reverse says you had a crossroads though, right? Filled with some confusion and some indecision. To the Fool in Reverse. You don't want to make a foolish decision because like I've said repeatedly, sometimes this relationship is good. But the Devil card says that the underlying foundation of this relationship is toxic, right? So, so you have a lot of indecision and confusion with the Two of Swords in Reverse and you don't want to be foolish, right? You don't want to take an unnecessary risk. You don't want to be foolish in your decision to leave this relationship. Two of Wands says you have fear of the unknown and the Seven of Swords in reverse says that this is your mental challenge, right? Fear of the unknown is your mental challenge. What if I leave this and I never find another relationship? right? What if I leave this and I, I don't find anybody to share my life with? Well, you know what? Leaving something that is toxic, that is a restriction to your personal growth, will only open doors for you to find bigger and better things, right? Don't settle for a relationship that is shit most of the time, but when it's good, it's great, right? Um, it's like being, it's like being with somebody that has an addiction, which the devil card does lend itself to addictions. The nine of cups lends itself to somebody that drinks a lot, right? It's being with somebody who self medicates on the regular. Um, the underlying relationship is toxic, right? But sometimes it's amazing when it's good it's great, but when it's bad, it's really bad. And that's what I'm picking up from this. When it's good, it's great, but when it's bad, it's horrible, right? Don't settle. Don't compromise for a relationship because sometimes it's good, okay? Word. Word. Four of Pentacles says that you are just going to sit on this for a minute. You're going to sit on it and you're going to try to manifest some control and some stability in your personal security about your decision to, to end this relationship. Temperance reiterates, sitting on it, balance, patience, purpose, moderation. You're just sitting on it with the Four of Pentacles and not doing anything to the Seven of Pentacles while you reflect and assess for a minute. What you come to the conclusion of while you're sitting on it, while you're reflecting and assessing, while you're trying to balance your feelings and your emotions and the reality of the situation is the Princess of Swords in reverse. This is all talk, no action, undelivered promises, right? 
all talk, no action, undelivered promises. Soul searching and introspection with the hermit card, doing a lot of that, right? And while you're in this hermit energy, you come to a tower moment. This is an awakening. This is a revelation, an awakening, an absolute epiphany in you, right? An absolute epiphany to the Knight of Pentacles that when it comes to your future, the Page of Cups in reverse, you are not going to create anything with this person. Or when it comes to your future, the creation of something new and beautiful for you is stifled remaining with this person. The High Priestess in reverse says that you're going to withdraw and be silent. Tower. Again, second tower. Tower clarifying the tower. <laughs> tower clarifying the tower says that you have an absolute awakening, right? And this awakening probably leads to some upheaval and some chaos in your life really does. But the Nine of Cups in reverse comes in and says that you're dissatisfied. You're dissatisfied with the entire situation. And I want to point out, again, addictions, possibly. Nine of Wands in reverse, hesitant, defensive. To the King of Swords in reverse, salty, angry, right? Angry, uh, angry. Six of Swords in reverse says that there's baggage, right? Too much water under the bridge. Just way too much water under the bridge. To the Five of Swords in reverse, way too much water under the bridge and way too much resentment. There's it's just, just way too much water under the bridge. The Three of Wands in, the ver in reverse talks about having a lack of foresight, right? You can't see this getting any better. Although it's good sometimes, but you just don't see it getting any better. To the Two of Pentacles, prioritization. To the Page of Wands in reverse. To the Three of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Prioritization, balance, juggling. The Page of Wands in reverse. This can also talk about um, a lack of enthusiasm right? A lack of enthusiasm. So balancing the situation with the lack of enthusiasm to the three of cups in reverse. This is absolute stifled creativity. This may be a third party situation, put it where it goes, but it's definitely stifled creativity, whether it's third party or not, it's stifled creativity, not creating anything in the situation. The situation's not going to get any better. And if you are dealing with substance abuse or, or hyper self-medication, um, it's only going to get worse. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse says you're chalking it up as a loss. A big fat L. Chalking it up as a loss and going to carry on with yourself, right? Going to release your limiting beliefs about this attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth after much mental, right? After much mental processing, weighing the pros and the cons, right? Sometimes it's really good, but man, when it's bad, it's bad. And it's bad a lot. It's bad a lot. Sometimes there are these little rainbow rays that come through. And I think, and, and I remember what I love about this person and why I stay in this relationship. But man, when it's bad, it's bad, right? And you just keep going through this and you keep going through this and you keep going through this until finally you come to the conclusion at the end of this reading, whatever Capricorn it is that I'm, that I'm connecting with right here, you come to the conclusion at the end of this reading that it's more important to prioritize yourself than it is to prioritize this relationship, right? And you're pessimistic, you're pessimistic and you block creation and you just chalk it up as an L, right? There you go, Cappy. That was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope um, I hope I helped you some way, somehow. You know, it's been, um, we're only at... Is it 19 or 10? I can't see. There's a glare. But we're only at a few minutes. Let's pull an oracle card for you guys, yeah? 
out of the Magdalene Oracle. Let's pull an Oracle card. Spirit, what is your advice here for Capricorn? What are some closing comments, some closing words about this situation, about, about this, this relationship that is uh, good when it's good, but really bad when it's bad, Spirit? What is Sophia is the card that just bounced out for you? Sophia. All right, let's see what Sophie has to say for you. Sophie says, Someone dear to you needs your love and support at the moment, perhaps even your forgiveness. Put aside any recent disagreements. Let it all go and make up. Deep down, you both know that you love each other. Life is too short to waste. Adopt a loving attitude, for love will heal all things. Honor and respect each other's differences. Individuality is sacred. You are both beautiful souls. Through love and forgiveness, a world of infinite possibility and contentment awaits you. Well, that didn't go with this reading at all, did it? Not at all. Not at all. Let's try to pull another one. Maybe somebody, obviously, somebody out there needed to hear that, right? Somebody out there needed to hear that. Perhaps this reading is sitting with you in a different way than which I read it. Whoa. But let's pull another one for Capricorn and see how it, uh, how it plays out. Let's see. Hold on. Capricorn, what advice do you have for Capricorn? What advice do you have for Capricorn spirit? What is your what is your advice? Right? Because that 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 card that we just talked about, Sophia, that's kind of sort of what you're going through, right? You're like, "Ah, oh, just want to love them through it. Just want to love them through it. I just want to love them through it. It's just way too many." I mean, a whole bunch of them just fell out, right? Just want to love them through it. Am I being selfish? Am I being self-centered? They need me. They need me, right? That's the attachment that is the restriction to your personal growth. They need me. And they may need you. But you know what? You need shit too. All right. Surrender. Surrender. Two S's. Sophia and Surrender. Surrender. At present, it seems that the harder you try, the more things you want elude you. There's not much you can do at the moment except wait. Surrender your expectations and be patient. In time, you will get what you want, though this may not come in the form or the way expected. In the meantime, remember you cannot control how others view things, what they think, say, or do. In time, you will come to realize that the current events are a blessing. You will emerge from this period of your life with a newfound sense of clarity, which will enable you to move forward in life with confidence. The emotional ups and downs you are currently experiencing will soon stabilize. Right? That kind of relates a little bit more to this reading than the last one did, but the last one relates too because I think some of y'all are feeling that way, right? You're feeling that way. Let me love them through this. They just, they need me. They just need me to love them. They just need me to love them. Well, I'll tell you what, Capricorn, um, if you're willing to sacrifice you, if you're willing to put your wants and needs and desires on the altar and sacrifice yourself for the well-being of this person, then by all means have at it. By all means have at it. But if you are, um, if you're not, if you're not, you really need to consider the fact that um, it's no way to live. When it's good, it's good, but when it's bad, it's horrible. It's no way to live. Love should not be difficult. Love should not be difficult. There should not be a drunk or drugged out person freaking out, making you walk on eggshells because God forbid you say something that sets them off and then unloading on you with, with, with terrible names and, 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 and being passive aggressive. And, and, you know, it's just no way to live. So if that's your situation here, you really need to consider if you want to sacrifice yourself on the altar of this person's um, wants and needs and selfish desires. 
If that's not the case for you and you're just torn between, do I stay? Do I go? Um, when it's, you know, I, I, there's things about this person I really love, but there's things about this person that I could really live without. Um, thankfully, you're not in the position of dealing with somebody who is self-medicating, but you have to be true to yourself. That is the number one, listen closely, the number one rule in life is if you can't be true to yourself, you cannot be true to anybody. So Capricorn, you be true to yourself and you make the decisions that you need to make to live your highest and best life. Okay? All right. Namaste.